In this video, we're going to go over the thinking it through questions on page 148. Uh, question number one, complete a chart to summarize what you've learned about the governments of Japan, North Korea, and South Korea. Now, your answers are going to vary quite a bit on this, but some of the key things you should have on it are as following. So in Japan, it is a democracy. They choose their leaders through voting. They have a free market economy. A parliamentary system. Uh, people elect representatives to the legislature called the Diet. Uh, the political party that wins the most seats names their leader as Prime Minister. Uh, the Prime Minister and the Cabinet hold the real power. Uh, still, uh, they have the Emperor who is a, the symbolic head of state, so it's a constitutional monarchy. So the Emperor would be like Queen Elizabeth II in our political system. Uh, the highest level of courts review laws made by the government to make sure the laws do not violate the Constitution. Uh, there's many political parties that represent different people's points of views. Citizens can form groups and speak out when they disagree with their leaders. They have freedom of speech. They have labor unions, churches, human rights groups uh, that fight for individual and economic rights. Uh, they have cultural sharing of ideas, religious beliefs, activities, sports, and products uh, with uh, other countries. Uh, North Korea, they have a communist dictatorship. The Communist Party controls the economy. Uh, there's very little freedom uh, voting, but they only vote for one candidate who is chosen, chosen by the Communist Committee. No one runs against the leader. So in the book, it uh, referred to Kim Jong-il, uh, who was the leader at the time of the printing of the book. Now it is, is uh, his son, Kim Jong-un. But we'll see what happens. There's been lots of rumors about health issues with him, so there could be a new leader in the near future, but we'll just have to wait and see. So Kim Jong-un now is the dictator who is the, who is, uh, the head of the Communist Party. Uh, the courts do not review the laws. Citizens have few rights. Government plans the economy, owns the land and businesses, and assigns jobs to citizens. Citizens are not allowed to challenge the government's decisions, and citizens can be punished for speaking out against the government. Now, um, in uh, South Korea, there is democracy. Uh, they have a presidential political system, uh, a free market economy. Citizens elect the president. Uh, the president leads the executive branch of government. Citizens elect members of the legislature. Uh, leg the legislature makes laws. The highest court reviews the laws made by government to make sure the laws don't violate the Constitution. Uh, the citizens enjoy many rights. Many political parties that represent uh, different people's points of views. Uh, they have can uh, The candidates must work hard on issues important to the people if they want to win the most votes. Citizens can form groups and speak out when they disagree with their leaders. They do have freedom of speech. Uh, they have uh, labor unions, churches, human rights groups uh, th that fight for individual and economic rights. And they have uh, the cultural sharing of ideas, religious beliefs, activities, sports, and products that they trade with many other countries. So if you want to do a comparison of the three countries, North Korea would be most similar to China. Uh, Japan's political system would be very similar to Canada's. And the South Korean political system would be very similar to the Americans. Uh, question number two. Describe three important ways that your family's life would be different if Canada were governed by a dictatorship. Now, if we were governed by a dictatorship, you would not have the freedom to choose where your family lives, uh, if the family goes to church or not, where, you, where they work, what sports to play, where the children go to school, what products to buy, where to go on holidays, or even what kind of food to eat. So even like if you compared yourself to a country like North Korea, you would only be allowed to have an official haircut that was sanctioned by the government. If you had the wrong haircut, you could be thrown into jail. Um, now, if you take a look at the history of the Hutterites, 
uh, democracy has been so important for the Hutterite people. Uh, back in the past, your ancestors fled uh, essentially oligarchies or dictatorships in various countries until they finally arrived in North America where they can live uh, in uh, with freedom and practice their own religion. Question number three. In what ways does cultural sharing have an impact on the lives of people in South Korea? Provide examples to evaluate whether cultural sharing is a positive or negative or a negative consequence of democratic government. Now, people can participate in sports and uh, sporting events, which means they can have fun and share the challenge of competing and the national pride of winning. Uh, Taekwondo is practiced around the world, and it teaches the positive values of self-discipline and promotes self-confidence and physical fitness. South Koreans produce many products that are sold in North America and in turn can purchase cars, computers, cell phones, and North American style clothing. South Korean people can choose to follow a traditional religion like Buddhism or Confucianism, or they can choose to attend a Christian church or no, no church at all if that is what they choose. All of these choices are made possible because people in democracies have the freedom and right to make their own decisions. Uh, question number four. Uh, what challenges do citizens face under a dictatorship, an ol oligarchy, or a democratic government? Um, under dictatorships, citizens have very little freedom. Uh, governments own businesses and land and assigns jobs to citizens. Sometimes the government does not have enough food for everyone to eat. Citizens are not allowed to move or leave the country. The citizens do not have access to news, TV, or internet, except where the government controls these things. Uh, citizens risk their freedom or their lives for, for speaking out against the government. Often, dictators have a large military and use force to control the people. Under an oligarchy, the government is controlled by a few individuals. There are few freedoms except for those elite members of the ruling party. In oligarchies, the few in control often believe that they know what is best for the citizens, so they make the decisions for the citizens even if the citizens disagree. Under a democratic government, people have to become involved in decisions by voting. Decisions are made by the majority, so often minorities have to protest and organize to have their voice heard. People must make their own choices about where they live and what work to do. In free market economies, there is a potential for business owners to pay their employees poorly so as to maximize their own profit. So people have to form labor unions to improve wages and conditions. And question five, could citizen groups organize in North Korea? Explain why or why not. Uh, citizen groups who try to organize in North Korea to change a decision of the government risk their freedom or their lives. The government does not allow anyone to challenge its decisions.